I will design NOR K in static CMOS model, pseudo NMOS model, and dynamic CMOS model. First, I will go to LT Spice. So, I am taking a new window workspace for drawing the circuit. NOR K means I want to NMOS transistors to NMOS transistors or operation means you have to keep one beside the other or operation means you have to keep one beside the other okay nor means you have to do opposite for the PMOS you have to do opposite for the PMOS so PMOS will be one below the other PMOS will be one below the other Okay, NMOS is one beside the other, PMOS is one below the other. I will just connect the drains of NMOS, source points of NMOS. These two PMOS I am connecting, and here I am connecting. This is the point where output is taken. This is the point where output is taken. And a common ground will be given for the entire circuit. A common ground is given. Common ground. Okay. Now we have to give inputs. We have to give inputs. So A and B are the inputs, and VDD is the supply voltage. So three voltages I will take. Three voltages I will take. This I will consider VDD. This is first input, and this is second input I will take. We need ground points for each of the voltage. I am taking 1 1 ground. For all these voltages, I am taking 1 1 ground. Connect the wires. I am connecting voltages to the ground points. This is VDD. I am connecting to the topmost point. This is So if you see here, the PMOS transistors, PMOS transistors, okay, so I'm just trying to remove this wire, this wire, and this wire. Two PMOS transistors are present, two PMOS transistors are present. Their substrate will be connected to drain, their substrate will be connected to drain. So what I have to do, drain should be on the upper side. Now it is first one is moving. If I take control E, okay, control R, control R, okay. Now drain is on the top side, source is on the bottom side for PMOS. Click this, okay, it is moving. Control E, control R, control R. Okay, now drain is on the top, source is on the bottom. Okay, drain should be connected to VDD. That is the point. Drain should be connected to VDD. So I am connecting the drain to VDD. Now I am joining the transistors. Okay. Now the first input I have to give to first transistor. First input to first PMOS transistor. Second input to second PMOS transistor. And the first NMOS it will get input. And the second NMOS Second NMOS. Okay. Without any node points, we have to do it. Now the entire circuit is visible. Entire circuit is visible. This is VDD. This is VDD. This is voltage A. This is voltage B. This is the output point. Okay. So what I will do, I will give the values. I am directly giving 5 volts for VDD. This is the first input. Go to advanced and then pulse and then 0 followed by 5. And delay 0 0.5 nano. Rise time 1 nano, fall time 1 nano. On time, I will take 8 milli. Time period I will take 16 mm. This is A voltage A. Now I am going for voltage B. 
go to advanced pulse then zero followed by five then delay is 0 0.5 nano rise time one nano fall time one nano on time i will take four milli and time period i will take eight milli four milli eight milli okay this a i have taken eight milli sixteen milli b i am taking half of that four milli eight milli okay now all the four combinations will come zero 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 one one zero one one now edit simulation command 16 will is the maximum time i have used you we'll fix it somewhere in the window and now go to run button and window tile vertical right click add plot main two inputs and one output are there this is nor k so click in the first one run button a input a click in the second one run button input b click on the third one run button output point now nor means for zero zero for zero zero it will come one okay for zero zero it will come one this is nor gate operation okay for zero zero it will come one what i have done is the static cmos static cmos nmos transistors 2 i have taken pmos transistors 2 i have taken nor gate i have decided okay now I will go to the pseudo MOS. I will go to the pseudo MOS. What all the changes we have to do? NMOS transistors we have to keep as it is. PMOS transistors only one PMOS above the cooldown setup. Above the cooldown setup. And closing this. Maximize this. Cut off the PMOS transistors. Okay. This wiring also I am removing extra wiring. However, NMOS, this is a Pull down network is available. Pull down network is available. And what we have to do is only one PMOS we are supposed to use. Only one PMOS transistor we are supposed to use above the above the pull down network. Above the pull down network. For PMOS, substrate is connected to drain. Drain to, should be connected to VDD. So click this. It is moving. Control E, Control R, Control R. Now drain is on the upper side okay now i will take wiring and i will connect this to the vdd topmost point this pmos is connected to the pull down network okay what i have done i have taken a single pmos transistor i am connecting down to the pull down transistor upper end i have connected to vdd input i have to give ground input i have to give ground however the nor gate nmos transistors will remain the same nor gate nmos transistors will remain the same Complete pull up, pull up network, all PMOS I removed and replaced with one single PMOS. That PMOS gate terminal should be grounded. That PMOS gate terminal should be grounded. I am taking a ground and giving to the gate of that PMOS transistor. Gate of PMOS transistor. Zero is given, it will come to on state. Zero means ground. Zero is given, PMOS will come to on state. Zero means ground point. Okay. Now I have two inputs and one output. Just I will execute sudo nmos transistor and doing for NOR gate. sudo nmos transistor for NOR gate. Add plot plane or plot plane. First one, run button, go to first input. Second one, run button, go to second input. Third one, run button, this is the output point okay so now if you see for zero zero it is coming one zero zero it is coming one and for all other combinations it is low voltage okay this is uh, weak zero this is weak zero that's why there is some variation okay because of circuit operation however okay this is weak zero so for all other combinations zero is coming only for zero zero combination output is one this is using pseudo nmos transistor you understood how I have designed this NMOS transistors I have kept as it is. I replaced all pull up transistor with single N PMOS, single PMOS. Okay. Now I will go to this. Now I will go to this. NMOS transistors as it is. PMOS one PMOS above the pull down, one NMOS below the pull down. Now I am going to the third logic. Third logic nor gate I will design using dynamic circuits. Dynamic circuits I will de design the nor gate. Okay. What I have to do, I have to remove this ground. I have to remove the ground. Okay. 
and then I have to put one N MOS transistor, one N MOS transistor here. This is my pull down network, pull down network. Input should be a clock signal, so I am removing this wire also. Okay, escape. Already PMOS is there above the pull down network. N MOS I need, and I have to put it below the below the pull down network. Okay, below the pull down network. One ground is uh, one voltage clock is required. I'm going to voltage. One clock is required, so I'm taking one input, one voltage for giving clock signal. I will use this as clock signal. And one ground is required for the voltage, and one more ground for the overall network. Okay. And now, if you see. This is the pull down network. This is the pull down network. Above the pull down, one PMOS I am using. Below the pull down, one NMOS I am using. Above the pull down, one PMOS. Below the pull down, one NMOS I am using. Okay. And this is the clock I am going to connect. This is the clock I am going to connect. So, what you have to do? I will connect this ground. And I will connect this ground. And uh, I will. Connect this clock to this same clock I have to connect. Same clock I have to Okay. So now for this PMOS transistor, for this NMOS transistor, I am connecting the clock signal. I am connecting the PMOS and the NMOS transistor connecting the clock signal. Already my time period is 4 and 8 for P and 8 and 16 for A. 8 and 16 for A. Okay. And if you see here, I didn't connect the second input to second NMOS because that wire I have disconnected earlier. What I will do here, I will just... Moment. should be visible so that whatever I tell it will be clear so I will go with this wire I will remove this wire I will remove the second in MOS input not yet connected okay because that wire I have cut earlier that uh, that is yet to be joined so what I will do I will take it here change direction here change direction here and connect it over here okay and here if you see this um, nmos below the pull down transistor it is hanging this way also i have completed okay now the circuit is completed i have to give the clock i have to give the clock i am going with this is the clock no? this is the clock this is a input this is b input this a input this is b input this is the clock so I am going to the clock, go to advanced pulse and 0 followed by 5, 0 followed by 5. Delay is 0 0.5 nano, rise time 1 nano, fall time 1 nano. On time I will take 2 milli, time period I will take 4 milli. I am giving clock, second one I am giving A signal, carefully you give it, this is signal A. Third one, I am giving B input. This is B input. Last one, I am going with the output point NOR gate. Output point NOR gate. This is 0, 0. This is 0, 0. It is coming 1. Okay. This is 0, 0. It is coming 1. Okay. So, other things, it is based on the circuit operation. Some glitches will be there. Some charging, discharging points will be there for the output point. Okay. Only for 0, 0, we have to check out. However, if you see the circuit, number of transistors are reduced. Comparatively, number of transistors are reduced. Okay, that is the intention of doing it. I have shown the NOR, trans NOR gate using static CMOS, pseudo-NMOS and now this final one is uh, dynamic CMOS circuits for NOR.